like to do is show you guys how to solve a, uh, a problem like this where we have a logarithm on both sides. So when we have a logarithm on both sides, a couple things we've looked at is one thing is you know we can condense our logarithms and that will help us you know get to one single logarithm. However, when we have them on the same side, what we can use is our one-to-one -one property. So what the one-to-one -one property states is, you know, let's say x equals two. There's a lot of things that we can do to x equals two and still keep x equals two. We can add a one onto both sides, right? Therefore, x plus one is still equal to two plus one, whereas x is still equal to two, right? You can take the square root of both sides, right? Still, x has to equal two. You could cube both sides, and still, x has to equal two. Well, the same thing is if you take the log of x equals to the log of y, I'm sorry, log of two, therefore x is still gonna equal two. So what I'm saying with this is, whenever you have a log equal to a log and they have the same base, what we can do is we can cancel them out and just say x is equal to two. So here I have a log ba base two is equal to a log base two. I can now cancel these out and just say two x minus three is equal to x plus four. All right, then now solving my equation, I'll add a three to this side, subtract an x on both sides, x equals um, seven. And when I plug a seven in both, into both of my logarithms, I'm getting a positive value, so therefore that's your solution. Done.